Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today's video is going to be a nice, quick, easy, and simple one, but something which I've been asked about quite a bit, so I thought I'd make a video, and that is how to create a 3D widget that will appear in your level and always face the player. So if I hit play, I can show you what we're going to make. So I have this box over here. If I walk up close enough to it, we're going to have a widget appear above it, and that's always going to face the camera no matter where the player is looking. That widget or that icon, whatever it is you want to call it, will always be facing the player and it is in the real world it's not on the screen it's in the actual world so as you can see we can get behind it because it's in the world and as you walk away it'll go away again so this is what we'll be going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how we've done it so the first thing we want to do is we actually want to create the widget that we want to be in the world so what i've also done before that is it imported this health icon that i've got here i've got this from gameicons.net so i'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well there's plenty there's loads of free icons you can use on there, but this is what I've got. Then we're going to right click in our content browser, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint, creating a user widget. And I'll call this W underscore heal, for example, then I'll open this up straight away. In here, we're going to add in a canvas panel and then we're going to add in a size box so we can keep this to a specific size that we want. So it is going to be the correct size in the world as well. We'll select the size box and then in the top right of our screen, we're going to go from fill screen to desired on screen. And then you can see the widget just shows like this. Then I'm going to have the size as 125 by 125. Now you can set the size to be whatever you want. And you can just do, you know, trial and error, having it in the game to see what works best for you. But I found that this looks good. This was the size that I was showing you in the beginning of the video in the overview. So this is what I'll do. Then we also want to set the anchor to be in the middle like this. And then we can actually add in our image on here. So now we'll get an image, add this into the size box, make sure it goes into it like so. And then we will set the image to be the one we've just imported or whatever it is that you want. And you don't have to do an image. You can do anything you want in here. It's literally just a normal widget. You can make absolutely anything you want. Just create a normal widget. So you can even do, you know, sliders and progress bars and stuff like that, like you would with a normal widget but still have it work in the level and in the world as well. So this is all I'm going to do. Like I say, just a nice simple widget here. Once you've set that up, we will compile and save that and we can close it as we don't need to do anything else in here. Now we are going to create a new blueprint for this to be in the level and in the world. So we will right click, go to blueprint class, create an actor and we'll call this BP underscore heal. Again, whatever it is that you want, that just makes the most sense for me as it is a health increase icon. This is to heal the player. We'll open it up straight away and then you can add in anything you want in here. So for example, I'll add in a cube so the player knows this is here. And you know, maybe I'll make this a nice green color as well. So again, it's getting up the health, but you can customize this to be whatever you want. If you already have a blueprint for this, that's perfect. You can add the widget in there. Next, I'll add in a box collision so that the player can go near enough and far enough away that the, uh, the widget will appear and disappear. So when the player is within this box, the widget will appear when they leave the box the widget will disappear again if you already have a collision on here that's perfectly fine you can keep that and finally we'll actually add in the widget so we can just search for widget and you want just the top one there just widget not widget interaction and then what we can do is under widget class we can set this to the one we've just created so i named mine w underscore heal and now you can see this is here perfectly i can drag this up and we can place it wherever we want. And you can also see here the size as well. So if you're not happy with the size or the placement, you can go back into the widget and modify it. As I showed you, so change the size in the size box and change the anchor for the size box as well. But I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna keep it. What I want to do next is obviously put it where I want. I'm happy with there. Then to make sure that it's always facing the player, a lot of people don't know this, but what you can do is very quickly and easily just change the user interface space from world to screen. It will disappear. That's fine. That's just because it can't, it's not got a camera to show it to. But if you change it to screen, it will always be facing the player's camera. Finally, last but not least, what we're going to do is just change the visibility to not visible. Obviously, you can't see it anyway, but when you get in the level, you will. We want it to only appear when we are close enough to this, so it's not always on screen. So we'll compile that. Go to the event graph, so now we can set up actually showing and hiding it as well. I'll delete these three nodes, then I'll right click on our box collision, go to add event and add on component begin overlap. 
and do it again by add on component end overlap. Then what I'll do is I'll move this up, move this one down a little bit, and then out of other actor, what I'm going to do is get an equal equal, and then what we're going to do is compare it to the get player character node. So what we're going to do is just simply see if it is a player character that is overlapping this, because if it's not, so for example, if it's an AI, we don't want it to show, we only want it to show if the or a player is overlapping this. And we'll do that for both of these as well, like so. So for both begin and end overlap. Then we want to hold down B and left click to get a branch because we obviously want to check to see if this is or isn't true. And we only want to do it if it is true. So then off of true of the branch, what we can do is get our widget like so. And out of this, just simply set visibility. So we're going to be showing and hiding this widget depending on if we are close enough or far enough away from the blueprint. So we just want to make sure we tick new visibility for begin overlap. We can compile and save that and that is all we need to do. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, it's actually very simple to do, but a lot of people have been asking me, so I thought I'd make a video quickly on how to do it. Now if we were to drag this blueprint into the level like so, and then if we were to hit play, we should see that if we go close enough to it, the widget will appear on screen and we go far enough away, it will disappear perfectly like so. So this is working perfectly. I can say we have the widget appearing and disappearing and is in the world, in the level, and it will always be facing the player camera wherever we are looking. It'll always face the camera. And again, you can use this for interacting with items. So you can have an E key, for example, appear, or just so you know what an item is. So like I say, this is health. You can have it above a gun, ammo, or whatever it is. And again, I think interaction is the most common one you will see. But I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up this simple mechanic in which it's just going to show or hide a widget in the world that will always be facing the player camera. Just so you have that next kind of level of immersion or interaction or whatever it is that you want. And again, the widget will work as a normal widget. If you want progress bars or sliders or anything like that and text, you can have it work normally. I've obviously just got a simple image just for the purpose of showing it off. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.